All right, so we started with the intro part and the difference, mm -hmm. plus we have few more things like history, application of the legislation, where is it that CPC is applicable, yeah. okay. then we have jurisdiction mm -hmm. of code of civil procedure. Okay, so that part mm -hmm. we Previous part, it's clear, right? Uh, yes, yeah, it is clear. And uh, just one, uh, one clarification, uh, the difference between this schedule and uh, sections, like if I want to explain uh, to a layman, hmm. uh, is there a way to easily understand between a schedule and uh, like sections? Yeah, so sections are nothing but the powers of the court. Okay, like it will tell mm -hmm. you that, okay, fine, this is the jurisdiction. These are the, mm -hmm. this is how court will exercise the matter. These are the things where civil court will have a jurisdiction. But what is the process? Mm -hmm. Okay, how is it that actually civil court is going to use that power? That process method or manner is provided in the schedule part. So schedule part is like more practical thing, but the sections mm -hmm. which we have, it's like theoretically it is, explaining or it is properly setting the uh, jurisdiction of the courts like that you can see and when we start with the sections right it will become even more uh, clear for you then you will be able to like understand the difference in a better way because that time you will actually be reading the sections plus what is given in schedule like the different orders okay but for now yeah it is all about what powers are there like a theoretical aspect and when we talk about schedules, it's like, how is it that really courts are going to use that power or use that jurisdiction rather? Okay. okay. 